Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. So today I have a really interesting and relatable topic for us, and it's about, well, us. Human beings are the most prolific species in the entire Star Wars galaxy. Our limited physical capabilities are supplemented by our insatiable ambition. The central stories from Star Wars all feature humans or near-human species. As a matter of fact, most two-legged aliens are classified as humanoid, a not-so-subtle nod to the importance of human beings. We are the protagonists in the history we have conquered and written for ourselves. We've spread across the galaxy, from the royal houses of Naboo, to the adventurers of Corellia, to the warriors of Mandalore, and the shipbuilders of Quat. But Star Wars existed a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So how do humans exist in this galaxy? Where do they come from? Sure, from a creative standpoint, it's better to make the central characters of a story relatable to your audience. But let's throw that logic aside because, well, it's boring. Who are the humans in Star Wars? Are they our long-lost ancestors, or are they the result of some convergent evolution theory? Where do they come from originally? Well, what does the lore say? I have two theories. One is much more standard along the lines of how Star Wars theories are normally formed, and the other one is completely insane, like, back to the future, your mom falls in love with you, insane. There is no official canon explanation about where humans come from in Star Wars, but it's generally accepted that humans came from one of the core worlds in the galaxy. One theory was created by archaeologist Dr. Ulap Zathan and Dem Nu R. They had found an artifact that suggested that humans originated from the planet Notron, an ancient name for Coruscant. At the time, there were two major groups on Coruscant, the Zell and the Tongues. The Zell were most likely the ancestors of the human race. They fought for centuries against the Tongues and finally succeeded in driving them off the planet. The warrior-like Tongues would eventually settle on Mandalore and become the first Mandalorians. Now, it's very hard to prove if this theory is true because of the nature of Coruscant. The city's many layers make the surface of the planet inaccessible along with clues of what the people who once lived there were like. Some other scientists have also said that Coruscant's natural climate is too cold to sustain human life. It's also possible that an ancient civilization such as the Rakatan or Celestials transported humans from an unknown home world to be used as workforces on their own world. After all, humankind was for a period of time enslaved in the Rakatan Empire. Nonetheless, humans would eventually develop space travel on their own and begin conquering neighboring planets. We even managed to do this without hyperdrives, by stealing technology from the Rakatan Empire and creating sleeper ships that could travel the vast distance between systems at slower than light speed. All the stuff we just talked about are legends, but like a lot of things in the expanded universe, there's some truth to it. Now we're gonna go on to our second theory, which is a whole lot crazier, and it's rooted in a trilogy book series that was once approved by Lucasfilm. Written by Robert J. Sawyer, the first book was called Alien Exodus. Although this trilogy was never completed, the author did release what he had done in 2003. The story revolves around the empire of an insect race called the Varlians. They were slave lords of several known Star Wars species, including humans. The plot of the series revolves around the struggle of these slaves against their insect overlords, and how the humans eventually escape and settle on Corellia the first human planet. Inside this story is a flashback which explains why these humans are enslaved in the first place. And get this, they're from a planet called Earth during a time in the 25th century. The flashback features three characters, a computer hacker named Dale Hender, a pilot named Antonia Corellia, and her partner Paxton Solo. They are leaders of the resistance group that are fighting computers who have taken control of Earth. Unable to defeat the machines, the humans flee on a colony ship with 5,000 humans to Alpha Centauri. On the way there, the ships get sucked into a cosmic whirlpool, which leads them to a galaxy far, far away, back in time, billions of years ago. They land on the planet which one day would be Corellia. But shortly after landing, they are found by the Varlians and enslaved. So there you have it. In this crazy story, humans are actually from Earth. So then you can plug in your own creationist or evolutionary theory, and there you go. That's where humans come from in Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, a few days ago, we did an episode on why we think the Yuzhang Vong are going to be canon soon. 
If you don't know who the Yuzhang Vong are, you should check out that video. But anyway, at the end of that video, we asked our audience to vote on whether they wanted to see the Yuzhang Vong become canon or not. Here are the results. 379 of you said yes, 79 of you said no, and 68% of you said meow. Which is always the right answer to almost any question. Anyway guys, for today's poll, I want to ask you guys, where do you think humans came from? after watching this video. Just hit the little circle button on the top right of the screen and select your answer, and we'll let you know the results in one of our next episodes. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us today, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.